Hello guys, welcome back on Dutch Motorsport. It's been a long time we didn't upload something, but we are back and we have this time this magnificent brand new uh, Volkswagen Touareg. We're gonna have a quick look at the outside, at the inside, we're gonna drive it and we're gonna share a maximum of things so you can really feel what this car uh, is. Uh, let's start with the front. Uh, we have this brand new massive front of this Touareg. We have a really big wheel here in the front uh, we have a redesigned bumper which is pretty aggressive making it uh, look really aggressive on the road we have those nice vents on the side and we can see it's not it's different from the uh, the previous one we have some nice uh, aerodynamical uh, elements uh, like the vents here uh, like under the license plate uh, it's really nice to see uh, the headlights have been changed a lot it's uh, also making part of uh, the grille, so we can see it a continuity here. And going to the headlight, we have some nice LED headlights with uh, this pretty design uh, day reading lights. They look really nice. We have also the new uh, clinkers. So if you try it, you will see. It's just a motion linker you have, so you will see. It just looks pretty fun. And we have the same on the back and we're gonna see it when we go back to the car. Also have a nice option on this version. You have the night vision where you have the camera just here. So uh, if you're driving by night, you can push the button to activate night vision and you will have a really nice view by the night. We have also some nice, uh, nice design on the hood here. We have some little uh, aerodynamical parts just making it uh, really nice looking more aggressive uh, in comparison with the uh, previous one uh, on this model we have also nice uh, wheels we have 19 inch wheels they look pretty small on this big car but they are 19 inch wheels so here on the side of the car you can see it is a pretty big car it has it is longer wider than the previous one and you feel it also when in the road it's a massive car you have on the ends on the top we have the panoramic roof, we're gonna see it on the inside uh, and we come here to the back, we have a really nice redesigned uh, backlight which is full LED and like in the front you will see the blinker, the blinkers or uh, moving. It's really nice to see. We have also some nice exhaust tips here. We have chrome exhaust tips, making it look uh, more aggressive. And they are not fake tips like we see uh, in a lot of cars or real ones. In this version, we also have uh, a lot of parking sensor because it features uh, the park, the, as the park assist, so it parks itself. And we're gonna show you a demo uh, in the video. So stay tuned. We also have that nice less go feature so it is not completely new technology but it is always nice to have the keyless go so you don't have to take your key to close the car or open it it's really nice uh, to have a standard option so in this version we have uh, the most used motor uh, by Volkswagen, the 3 liter V6 TDI. In this version, it offers you 286 horsepower, and uh, you feel it, it is a pretty massive car. It needs to be uh, motioned by a lot of horsepower, but it is uh, really nice to drive. Uh, you feel it, it's powerful, uh, and the automatic transmission uh, makes it, it a lot easier to drive. And we're gonna see it when we gonna go for a little ride. And the inside is pretty fantastic. It has changed a lot in comparison with the old one. So as you can see, a lot has changed, and it is just magnificent to to feel and to watch. So start it.
so as you can see here on the dashboard it is completely different we have this massive infotainment screen here in the middle which is really 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 big uh, and we have also uh, here on the, on, uh, the driver dashboard has changed it is now a screen which you can personalize you can change everything finishing is also uh, really nice we have some nice finishes here on the dashboard we have some nice wood inserts here on the door panels or here on the dashboard and it just feel really really qualitative the seats are really comfortable we have some nice leather seats uh, which are heated and and, uh, and ventilated uh, so all the needed stuff to, to feel to feel uh, the best when you're driving and we also have that huge panoramic roof which you can open by pushing here the buttons Pretty big panoramic roof. So here, let's come back to the dashboard here. So as you said, you can have a lot of personalization here. You can change a lot. You can make it bigger in function of what view you want. Uh, let's go by. It. For example. For the navigation, just if you press here the view button, you just got the whole map coming up, and you can have it also here. You can also change it here, you have a special button for it. You can change what you want, uh, what you want to have as information just below the needles so uh, fuel autonomy uh, we have a lot audio uh, audio acceleration fuel consumption uh, you have a lot So this one you choose what you want to have in the middle for the left one you can also choose for the right one here it's pretty the same you have the same to choose but you can have two informations at a time so you just have to select the one you want to have Night vision comes here, so you have here in the middle what you see with the night vision camera uh, we showed you in the front of the car. So it's not night now, but I imagine it is pretty nice to have by night. We have also the head-up display. Uh, you can choose which uh, one you wanna show, and you have it here if you see it it's color head-up display we have uh, we have on the left side the uh, the speed limitation signs coming up and on the right side we have your speed and in the middle and it just show interaction with you when you need to, to see a traffic sign or a, 
uh, when the, the front assist detects something uh, then you have to slow down or just brake it shows you and you feel you have also some nice uh, vibrations coming up in your pedals to say you, you have to slow down or just brake because uh, some danger is coming up you also have the off-road informations and you can select it here via the button you have a lot of driving modes uh, you just have to select the one you have we have the eco mode we have the comfort mode the normal one sport one individual so you can personalize it as you want and the off-roading and also this new mode and the off-roading you can also go in the expert mode and you can change also the height of the car here you can make it fully automatic or you can choose uh, what you prefer to go to make it higher or low in the height it's just as you want so if you go for the individual here with the button you will see what's uh, in the individual you can personalize it and make it really as uh, as you, you better feel the road or as you, as you want as you prefer it and in this big infotainment screen we also have this a little side for climate controls so as you have seen here we don't have any more uh, buttons we have only a few ones we have the one for driving modes we have the one for the eight uh, handbrake button or to hold engine start we have the volume here with this big rolling button and that's it we have the this nice gear gear knob but the buttons are almost every we have here on this side also the the windows button light controls seat with memory and that's it so everything is now here and you can choose it here if you want to have heated seats or not uh, cooler or if you want to have more heat you just choose what you prefer we also have the button for the heated uh, wheel Here in the menu we have all the classics um, changes you can do, the radio, uh, sounds, uh, sound settings. We have here in this car a really nice DIN audio system which just has been uh, changed for this one. It is, it is a more powerful one we have, it's not the classic one we have in, the, in other Volkswagens. So you just choose the parameters you want, you choose uh, the way you want to hear the sound, change it manually or not. You can change almost everything. You can also have a look at your image if you have, if you have been put in your USB here. general settings about the screen uh, language everything you want you have also uh, VLAN connectivity here in the car you can just activate your hotspot with your phone and connect it and having access to internet information about the car oil level uh, all images that can come up uh, with uh, faulty parts or faulty signals Tire monitoring system. Navigation. It is a really nice infotainment system you have. Uh, it's really easy to use. Uh, you, just, you just go through it uh, for 10 minutes and then you're used to it. You can also have here some 
personalized buttons here you can change it if you want to put something else you can choose what kind of shortcuts you want to have um, you just choose digital create uh, heated wheel uh, climate controls air gear uh, volumetric protection the alarm of the car uh, start and stop if you want to have the shortcut to uh, deactivate it or activate it you just have to choose which one you want to have so here on the main screen we have a nice clock with the picture of the car uh, all the driving needed info, Bluetooth information, phone settings, you can go it here. And if you go through it, it doesn't change, but if you do it with both fingers, you can go through the menu, so the main screen or the navigation. So in this version we have um, the business atmosphere version, which is pretty fully equipped. Uh, we've got some nice options, we have seen it, the night vision. We have also a nice tip, tune, tip, tip 8 as they call it. it. Uh, the transmission is a 8 speed automatic transmission we have here. With some nice paddle shifts here back. So let's have a look. On the back seats this is a pretty big car you feel you can have a lot of space even if you are a big uh, person you have a lot of space you can also here make your trunk bigger if you need space or transport bigger things uh, it's really easy to use We have also the electric trunk, it opens automatically. This is a pretty big one, yeah, you feel you have uh, plenty of space. You got the spare wheel here. We also have those nice buttons here, if you wanna uh, just lower or higher the heat level of your car. If you need to load up something uh, easier or not, uh, just just really nice to have. And then you just close it when you're done. Here in the front, we have the nice cargo comfort seats. So you have electric electric uh, seats you can control here and you have some nice ear buttons with, where you can adjust uh, your back support here in the seat to feel uh, really the, the highest comfort you can have in this car. You can also memorize it, your, uh, your, your seat position here, uh, you have three buttons to do it. Have that nice button here to open and close your trunk. 